I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. Senator Richard Blumenthal voiced his support for the Let Doctors Provide Reproductive Health Care Act on the Senate floor Wednesday. He decried a post row America, saying, quote, Worse is to come. The hit list of this Supreme Court includes contraception, marriage equality, the basic right to privacy that is enshrined in the Constitution. Earlier this summer, the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. The ruling gave states the license to ban abortion. While Republican lawmakers have applauded the decision, Democratic lawmakers have denounced it as stripping away fundamental rights. Connecticut. Uh, first, thank you to my colleague and friend from the great state of Minnesota for her being such a steadfast champion of this issue over so many years and such an articulate and eloquent spokesman. And I'm proud to join her and other colleagues as we have done week after week since the Dobbs decision trying to protect a woman's right to decide when and whether to have children, a woman's basic control over her own body, a woman's freedom that the Dobbs decision stripped away and put in the hands of politicians. The politicians in robes on the Supreme Court, in effect, took those rights away from the women of America. After 50 years of precedent, and after everyone thought these rights were absolutely secure, when I first introduced the Women's Health Protection Act in 2013, the idea that Roe v. Wade would be overruled was absolutely unimaginable. We were trying to fight the, dis the disruption of rights piece by piece through state laws that required admitting privileges or width of hallways or waiting times or other kinds of restrictions that constituted an unconstitutional burden on women's rights. And now we are in the post-Roe world where the unthinkable has become real, the unimaginable is with us right now, and worse is to come. The hit list of this Supreme Court includes contraception, marriage equality, the basic right to privacy that is enshrined in the Constitution, the right to be let alone from government interference. So my Republican colleagues who think we are being alarmist, The unthinkable is with us right now. And we need to provide assurance and certainty to the women of America that they can travel to seek abortion services, that family planning options will be available to them, that the contraception rights will be secure, and each time we have come to the floor to seek that recognition of basic rights, the Republicans have blocked us. And so now we are here on a measure called Let Doctors Provide Reproductive Health Care. Let doctors provide health care, reproductive health care. There is a really cruel irony to this effort the doctors and nurses and health care providers who were our heroes and remain our heroes even more so now during the pandemic and afterward can be prosecuted criminally for trying to save a woman's life. An abortion that is necessary to that woman's life may be the mission of a doctor who then can be prosecuted criminally. Now, in Connecticut, we've said, our legislature has made it absolutely clear, nobody in Connecticut's gonna be prosecuted. No law enforcement official in Connecticut is gonna cooperate with Texas or any other state that criminalizes abortion services. No evidence from Connecticut's gonna be made available to an overly zealous or aggressive prosecutor hell-bent on going after a doctor or a healthcare 
provider or a woman who seeks abortion services. But Connecticut is the, the exception. Its safe harbor makes it unusual, not common. And so we need a national law. Let doctors provide Reproductive Health Care Act that protects the health care givers and providers of our nation to do their job. The Hippocratic Oath is for them something that goes as deep as our oath of office for us. We're sworn to uphold the Constitution. They, in effect, take an oath to save lives. That's their job. And their lives should not be in jeopardy, nor should their livelihoods, simply because they are doing their job. We've seen time and time again that this Supreme Court has no respect for precedent. We've seen state legislators who have no respect for reproductive rights and health care. We cannot rely on false reassurances made by Republican colleagues here or anyone around the country because history has already shown us that this Supreme Court has on its hit list these fundamental rights and expanding the restrictions on them. And so I ask my colleagues to join us in unanimous consent for this measure. That motion will be made shortly. And I hope that we can join in ensuring that individuals have access to quality health care, regardless of their zip code, no matter where they live. The women of America deserve this basic right. And the health care providers who enable them to protect themselves and who save lives deserve the assurance that they're not going to be the target of a prosecutor hellbent on making a name for himself or a state legislature seeking 